Maswanka society involved in a cultural display called the Barango on the night before the passing out of the female initiates. The town square also rocks alive with activities rejoicing in the conclusion of the initiation process. Initiates are later taken to the seaside location called Biki Bar to have a bath. The return back to the town from the riverside combines colorful cultural dance displays following a procession of different masquerades. Here they can be seen, all buoyant and energetic, with the traditional nim tree in their hands, emphasizing the disciplinary features of male initiation. The activity culminates in a steering meeting of the two parties at the edge of the town, evoking the beauty of a farm tradition. In Georgetown, the traditional masquerade appears in a wholly complete picture personifying a simmering custom, virtually epitomizing the ancient tale of the smiling coast. A red cap or bandana, stylishly adorned, is the customary headdress of a cultural elder or kintango, whose happiest moment comes in the final countdown to the homecoming from a successful retreat. <laughs> display we're witnessing yeah, here. Yeah, no, it's amazing, yeah, yeah. I've never seen anything like this before. Yeah, no, never, no. I teach about religion, so I've never, I've read about it, never seen it. It's really interesting. So th th these are beautiful discovery for you. Yeah, um, it's just kind of really, like, the kind of festival spirit, isn't it? It's kind of all how important it is to the people. It's really interesting. It's a yeah. festival, you know, which yeah, yeah, really, really takes fun. place. Yeah. Looks like the kind of festivals we have in England, where we have, like, street processions and that kind of thing. Really? Yeah. And you're loving it the same way you love Yeah, yeah, it's okay. quite funny. Okay. A bit scary. A bit scary. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, I'm okay, thank you. What's your name again? India. India. India, yeah. First time in the Gambia? <laughs> no, third time. Third time? Yeah. And how are you loving this display? It's scary. <laughs> yeah. Masquerade? Yeah, the, the circumcision man's really scary. I saw you make a, make a run, really? Yeah, it was running anyway, yeah. Oh, and now tell me, when you go back to England, are you going to tell your friends about the Gambia? Yeah, I will, yeah. Yeah, they'll love to come and see the Gambia, yeah. Yeah, it'll be good. Please, please. <laughs> yeah. Your time, time. Yeah, it's a beautiful country, yeah. Yeah, of course, yeah. Hello, what's your name again? Yeah, my name is Ryan. Ryan. Yes. Ryan, what do you see ahead of you? Tell me. Um, a parade. A parade. Uh, circumcision, man. Masquerades. Yeah. That's beautiful. Interesting. Yes, Have you ever very seen interesting. Have like this before? No, no, never. Really? So it's you're really loving every moment of it? Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Okay. Now tell me, how, how many times have you been to the Gambia? Oh, this is my first time. It's your first time? And tell me, how is the Gambia? It's really, really nice. I really like it here. Are you going to come back? Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, definitely. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. And name again? Nagon. Nagon? Yes. Where are you from? Um, England. From England? Yes. Which part of England? Um, near Wales. Near Wales? Yes. Uh, I mean... Where you come from, uh, do you experience things like this? No, never. Okay. This is a um, whole different experience. A whole different experience. And how are you loving it? Yeah, it's amazing. It's really different, really, really different. good. Are you taking pictures, tell me? No, I'm not. Oh, so mm -hmm. how do you hope to capture this in your memory? I, I don't think I'll ever forget this. So you have a lot of stories to tell your friends yeah. when you go back? <laughs> yes. Hello, what's his name again? Oh, hey, I'm Dan. You're Dan? Yeah. Dan, Jenjambure is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really nice. Really nice. Yeah. How many times have you been here? The first time. The first as well. time. Yeah. Uh, have you seen, I mean, the variety, I mean, of cultural history yeah. here? It's so different to UK. So different. Yeah. 
beautiful, beautiful time you experienced. It's really nice, yeah. Really yeah. Nice. Colors, everything, dresses. Colors, everything, dresses. All, all the dresses, yeah. Well, the mascots. <laughs> it was scary. It was scary yeah. Well. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's get chased. <laughs> And you love it? Yeah, brilliant. I'm coming back, definitely coming, coming back. back. Yeah. That's Dan on the expedition. Hello. Hello. Your name? I'm Charlie. Charlie, how are you loving this? Um, it was scary. It's the men scary. were scary. Okay. They chased you, us. You ran there for a minute. Yeah, we ran away. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me, back in England, what are you gonna tell your friends? Um, that it's really scary, but it's really awesome. We like it in Gambia. We like it in Gambia. We love Gambia. Tanjambure, robust with colorful celebrations, reviving the beauty of the old days. Now, it is a cultural carnival of impressive and spectacular design. This may be the biggest cultural upheaval which takes place in the Central River region. And now, as the sons and daughters of Tanjambure come together to revive the past culture, is being redefined. Tinyansida is the next abode, the remarkable convergence which includes the racing of the historical initiate pool called Samayiro, combines an amazing cultural display. The pot crowned at the top of the post signifies the lofty status of the male initiate. The pool is usually put up at night by blacksmiths whose role in society is to control and protect initiates while they are in the bush. Preserving these traditions intact for posterity and emerging generations was the basis of Governor Ghani Toure's message at the final meeting ground, where hundreds of locals and visitors met to witness the recollection of past ways and values. It's important in the sense that, one, uh, we all know that the president, this is the president, Sir Professor Dr. Alajiai Jamai, the importance he attaches on culture. And uh, seeing what is happening here in Janjamure, uh, so that people really uh, adhere to what he uh, is asking for. Uh, and uh, and uh, as you rightly say, Janyomwe, when you come to history and culture, Janyomwe or Makati, uh, as I normally say, this is the only town in the whole world that has three international names. If you say Janyomwe, everybody knows it throughout the world. If you say Makati, everybody knows it. If you say uh, Joy Town, everybody knows it. So these are three international names. That shows the, 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 level, uh, the, the, the level of uh, importance. Uh, this would uh, the, uh, the, uh, the town uh, attaches to culture and history. So really, it's a very important event. And I, that's what I, why, why I told them that they should make sure that they keep the culture. So young people, I mean, dominating particularly in all the, I mean, variety of events which uh, took place. Now, I mean, how important is it uh, for them to retain and conserve this culture? Uh, it's very important for them because they really, when they had their first meeting, that's what I told them. I asked the youth, because you have few elders remaining. And those elders, one day or the other, they are, they are going. So if, that, if the culture is not planted into them, Tomorrow, it will, everything will be lost. And as you can see, it's the entire community, both in Banjul and everywhere. Speaking of its unifying uh, quality, uh, the event brought together, I mean, hundreds of uh, the Janjambure sons and daughters, I mean, not only who, 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 who are not only living here, but those in the diaspora, I mean, have I mean, joined back home to witness this, I mean, major upheaval of uh, the past traditions. Now, this unifying element, I mean, is being strengthened. But what is the greater objective? The main objective under this achievement is that, uh, one, uh, people would know their culture. Two, it's, it's going to unify the people. Because uh, without unification, uh, nothing, uh, they, cannot, they cannot achieve anything. And as, you, as I said, from, starting from the chief, with all the elders, as you, and, and, uh, and the those from the diaspora and from Banjo and everywhere. They all join, they, they are all together. And uh, with, with this event, they are all together. As, uh, because uh, to, to, to revive culture. Because uh, like, uh, just where we are, we are, you see, you can see the, the Cancun Center, which is on the construction. Uh, that, shows the, uh, that shows the history. The maze of cultural attires done in various styles and patterns add a distinct color to the wholly lively mess of activities each different and outstanding in its own way, portraying original